are you? We are here today. I'm so excited to see you all. Um, I'm going to give everybody kind of a moment or two to get on here today. My computer is still doing this spinny thing. So I just wanted to make sure we've got everybody time to get on here today. Of course, my dog knows that I'm doing a, um, a video now and she's like going to be all up in my business. So I'm going to give people time to get on here. I popped on a little bit early because not going to lie, you guys, I'm feeling a little nervous today. I don't know why I'm feeling nervous today, but I'm feeling a little bit nervous to do this live video today. Um, June, please stop. Um, so, all right, we've got a couple people on here. Um, I'm excited to be here with you all today. I'm going to just get on here and see if I can figure out I don't think I can see people for some reason. I don't know why. But all right, I'm going to give people a couple minutes to pop on here. Today, we are going to talk about loving your soul. Um, I'm up in the mountains. This is filling my soul. We actually are up here for my husband's birthday for the weekend. He's off snowboarding and I'm here with my daughter while she's doing school. So I am, I wanted to just share with you all a little bit about why I decided to do this self-love journey today. So, or this week, I should say. So Back when I was in college, I went on an exchange program to Sweden and um, I gained a lot of weight when I was over there. I enjoyed myself a lot. I ate a lot of food. I talked about this a little bit on my podcast last week as well. And I got back from Sweden and I was not happy with the way that I looked. I wasn't happy with the way that I felt. And instead of nourishing myself and being kind to myself, I totally just beat myself up. I ate really crappy food. I was eating like 1200 calories a day of like white Wonder Bread and processed cheese with, you know, whatever. And those Snackwell's cookies, remember those from the 80s or from the late 90s, whenever we had those, like those highly processed um, cookies. Sorry, my dog is being crazy today. Oh, stop it. So anyway, so I um, did not take very good care of myself and got back from that trip and just beat myself up. And eventually I realized that there was a better way to nourish myself and to take care of myself. And so over the past like 20 years, I've kind of been on this journey of learning how to love myself in a way that I was confident in who I am, that I treated myself well, that if I wasn't happy with the way that I felt or the way that I looked, that that didn't, I started to understand that that was not a reflection of me as a person in, internally, but that that was actually, um, that what mattered was more was inside. So my whole goal here is to continue this journey with you. This is a process still for me every single day. I think it is for most women who live in the Western world. We have these crazy standards of beauty where we think we have to be airbrushed and we have to do all this stuff, you know, get injections in our face so we have no wrinkles and all that kind of crazy stuff. And I really think it's important for us to love ourselves. See, so I'm wearing my Choose Love shirt today. I think it's important for us to love ourselves regardless of all these different reasons why society tells us we shouldn't. So today's practice, we we are going to start with loving our soul. And so I believe I, I looked this up um, today because I wanted to know what the definition is, but it says that the definition of your soul is your emotional or intellectual energy. Okay. So your emotional or intellectual energy, it's the energy that resides within you. I believe that we all are like part of this big universal energy and that we are manifestations of that energy. We are human manifestations of that energy. You can call it divine energy. You can call it God. You can call it source energy, whatever you want to call it, but that we each have this unique manifestation within inside of us. And that when we get reconnected to our true nature, that's what I call it because I'm, I'm a nature-based person, nature centered, I should say, um, we're all nature based, right? We're all living in nature. But what I believe is that when we are really connected with our own true nature, that is when we shine that and we have to kind of know what our true nature is in order to love it. So that's one way that we love ourselves is getting connected back in with our own true nature. So what we are going to do is we are going to get rooted in our own true nature today because we have to know ourselves in order to love ourselves. So I'm going to guide you through a little something here a little mindfulness meditation practice. So get really tall, close your eyes and start to breathe in. And take a moment here to get connected to your emotional energy, 
your intellectual energy. How does the universe show up in you? What is that energy that resides inside of you? What are the things, if you were going to describe yourself, if you were going to describe the kind of person that you are, how would you describe yourself? And I'm not talking about physical attributes here. We're talking right about that emotional or intellectual energy, those things that are inside of us. And once you've taken a couple minutes to kind of connect in with that, we are going to do this practice where we are creating uh, the, the tree of me. And so if you have your workbook handy, you can use, if you have it printed out, you can use that tree. And I apologize. I don't know, for some reason there was a, the email was supposed to go out last night. Heard from some of you that maybe you didn't get it. So I apologize if you didn't get it till this morning. Um, but you can also just draw a tree. So what we're going to do for this particular practice is the, the trunk of the tree that you see and, and the trunk going down into the roots, that is going to be what you would consider. I'm sorry that I'm like, I'm petting my dog here. This is why my hands are in my lap. If you see my arms moving, it's because she's being very needy right now. Um, that would be her soul. That's her, that's her true and true nature is that she's very needy. Um, <laughs> anyway, so what you're going to do is on the tree trunk and down into the roots, if you want to draw your own tree, you're welcome to do that. Or you can use the tree that's in your workbook. You are going to write down all of the emotional and intellect, how that emotional or intellectual energy shows up in you. Okay, so that could be if you consider yourself a very compassionate person, if you consider that to be part of your true nature, then maybe write down compassionate. If you consider yourself to be um, a very motivated person, right, you can write that down um, as part of your uh, part of your tree. If you consider yourself to be a very calm person. So you're really looking at like, what is your natural energy? OK, not like stress and anxiety and all that kind of stuff that comes up because of outside things. But when you sit and when you get quiet with yourself and you take a few moments to check in with who you are at your source, who you are in your soul, what is the energy? What is the, what is, how does that show up? Okay. So you're going to take a few minutes and this is, and you don't have to do this right now, but this is what, kind of what we're doing today as part of our practice. So you're going to write all those words on the trunk of your tree and then on the leaves and up in the upper part, how those things show up. So maybe you're someone who loves to volunteer. That's like part of what you do. So that's because you're compassionate and you're giving and you want to give back to the community. So those would be on the trunk, compassionate, giving, that kind of thing. And then on the trees, you could say that that shows up through your volunteer activity. Maybe you're on the board of directors of a nonprofit. Maybe you're a teacher. Uh, maybe, you're, maybe you're a parent and you spend all day giving and being compassionate. Okay. Maybe um, one of your qualities is that you are paid patient. That is not one of my qualities. We all know that that is not one of my qualities if you've spent any time with me, right? But maybe your patience shows up as um, you work in a daycare and you're able to be around kids who are who need a lot of patience, quite frankly, like when they're three and four years old, okay? Maybe you are motivated to, to um to like accomplish a lot of things. And so maybe that's showing up for you as getting a degree, okay? So you're looking at, you're getting rooted in your true nature, what your true nature is, what that energy is. And then you were going to talk about how that shows up, the leaves or how that shows up in your life. So what actions, if someone was looking from the outside, how would they know that you were a compassionate person? How would they know that you are a patient person? How do you know? that you are a compassionate or a patient person, okay? And so that's the activity that we're going to do today is just kind of getting connected back with our true selves. So I don't see any, I'm gonna look and see, I don't see any comments here from you guys. Um, and I think for some reason, sometimes I can't see the comments on this, on the when I'm doing live like this. But if you have any questions or any comments, you can put those um, in the chat and I, can, I will respond to those. The other thing I wanted to just mention really quickly is that we have a daily giveaway this whole week. So the way that you can enter the to win the daily giveaway, today's daily giveaway is um, a 10 pack of macarons, I'm gonna say them in the French way, from Bella Macaron. 
Um, and those are, they're different than macaroons. They're not like the little coconut cookies. These are the ones that have like the ganache in the middle. It's like two cookies with the ganache in the middle. They're delicious. Um, and they're made with almond, these ones are made with almond flour. So um, not certified gluten-free because they are made in a facility that other people use as well. Um, but they are, if you are just someone who avoids gluten and you don't have celiacs, then you can eat these with wild abandon and nourish your soul today. Um, so those, that's to win the giveaway. If you want to enter to win the giveaway, comment on this video, or you can send me an email at some point today um, well, I'll be picking a winner tomorrow morning, but at some point today, you can send me an email with what you learned, maybe what one of your words is um, that was on your tree trunk. You can talk about what you thought of this video, whatever you want to say, but just send me an email and um, I will put my email address in the comments in case you all don't have that. But you should be able to also just hit reply on the email that gave you your workbook. So um, I hope this was helpful. Oh, hi, Elizabeth. I can't ever tell who's here until somebody makes a comment. Um, but um, Elizabeth Ann is here. So yeah, you made a comment. So now you are entered to win, um, potentially win that. And then there's other giveaways later this week. So um, we're going to get move. I'm going to let you all get back to the rest of your day. But if you have any questions, um, any thoughts, anything at all that you want to talk about or want to learn about this week, definitely let me know and I'll be with you all again tomorrow. Keep in mind that tomorrow I will be um, live at 9 a.m. instead of noon because we are, um, like I mentioned, we are up in the mountains right now. We're going to be driving home tomorrow. So I wasn't sure we'd be back in time for noon. So I'm going to do it in the morning before we head out. So that's the only day this week that the time is going to be different. The rest of the week, I'll see you all I'll be here at noon every single day. So I'll see you all. Have a great day. Go do something to love your soul today. And I will see you again tomorrow.